these are such vague terms and the last time we saw such vague terms enter the lexicon of whether you would be uh, you know tried or penalized for something was uh, section 66a uh, i don't know if you remember during the ups time in 2013 i think it had 2012 or 2013 they had uh, introduced section 66 you have the it act which had stuff like if any of your reportage causes discomfort or annoys someone you know you could be penalized for it so you know morality decency is very wide words and it's left entirely to the interpretation of the bureaucrat it kind of uh, follows the policies or the notifications that the government has come up with in the last few years uh, which demonstrate or at least prove to me very clearly that they look at the press with active hostility and as enemies not as you know a healthy adversary in a democracy many of my colleagues at news laundry are filing rtis for reports and stories uh, you know although the rule is that an rti has to be answered in 30 days there's just there's a unwillingness to give information that that is constitutionally it i mean it it is by an act of parliament the right to information act was passed by the parliament of india and they don't give information that they are obliged to give so it's consistent with this entire thing of everything must be known about us like you know upload this ownership pattern upload this uh, but the government will not give you any information either through rti or through the press which is actually the only way that the you know people of any democracy get information uh, out of the government and that's not good for them either what they are doing is the equivalent of the press heroing uh, you know uh, government officers of parliament and saying we will not let you do their job except that because the executive and all power of the state and the the, the license for violence uh, and and uh, any sort of embargoes or any sort of restrictions rest to the government they are doing the equivalent of that to the press that we will not let you do your job it's a naked attempt uh, in my view at intimidating uh, journalists these guidelines have existed for decades now to uh, it is bizarre that they should specify that that a journalist should adhere to to all these norms uh, should not act uh, uh, in any manner prejudicial to the integrity sovereignty security of the nation uh, uh, and uh, you know maintain public order decency uh, this is very this is totally absurd because all these provisions are there in criminal uh, law you know so if a journalist is indeed uh, violating any of these norms there are other provisions in criminal law there is defamation law there is uh, i mean they are they have been using sedition just part of a series of things that they this paranoid government has done the way they brought the media laws the intention was to regulate platforms like twitter facebook etc and how they, they through the back door without going to parliament they extended uh, this uh, regulatory uh, re- regulatory regime to online news uh, where a set of bureaucrats now can sit and decide whether to uh, Uh, judge what news is being carried online and take down news without even informing the publisher uh, this has been challenged as you know by uh, there are 18 high court challenges uh, bombay high court and madras high court have have stayed the operation of this this draconian you know new media law i see this as part of a larger pattern of a paranoid government uh, which is you know trying to shoot the messenger you know in fact my view is that that the 
that journalists should refuse to take accreditation because in any case this government is not even if it gives access this government is not giving information at all it has it has virtually destroyed all data uh, institutions you know <laughs> it's not re- releasing any data uh, on economic uh, you know pre- performance or other performance i think it is also for us journalists our community to take a call on whether we want these benefits from the government you know why does the reporter go to the ministry because the reporter goes to ministry because he or she wants to find out uh, how the taxpayers money is being spent you know they are they are constantly uh, sort of monitoring the performance of the government whether it's health ministry education you know blah 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 you know they, uh, so 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 we have and i would say if you uh, if you extend the interpretation of article 19 right to freedom of expression uh, right to information uh, i think it is a journalist right to to get information from the government because the government is essentially you know dealing with taxpayers money